In this training video, I'd like to walk you through how you turn on and use the learning assessment website for seminaries and institutes. These instructions work both for online seminary teachers and a little bit more detail for them as well as daily face-to-face -face teachers. I will be uh, giving the assessment online. Uh, students will need a phone, a Chromebook, or a tablet of some sort in order to complete the assessment. There's a few things you need to do as a teacher first before your students can take the online assessment. So I'm going to go ahead and if you are in an online seminary class, this is the instruction page for you and has some instructions there. And this right here is the link. So this is the link students will click on when it's time to take the assessment. So before they click on this link or the time that you're taking the assessment, you must turn on the assessment. Or if you're in a face-to-face -face class, you must also turn on the assessment before they can access it on their mobile device. So I'm going to go here, and this is the stake I'm seeing. I'm seeing multiple stakes because I'm a coordinator, and I can see all of the stakes within my own stake. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on this checkbox here. If you click here, it will take you to a different page where you can't uh, turn on the assessment. So one trick I've learned is don't click on the name, just check the box. And then right up here is Give Assessment. So go ahead and click on Give Assessment. And it brings you to this page. And there's a couple things that you'll need to see here. First off, this is the assessment you're going to give. Now, there are uh, several different kinds. This is just the plain assessment right here. This one is with a belief and apply. So it's a assessment that the students do to kind of do a self-evaluation with regard to what they believe and how important those beliefs are to them. Um, this is a self-evaluation to see how they're doing with regard to building faith in Jesus Christ and, and coming to know Him. Um, you could choose to give the assessment without the belief and apply or the belief and apply only. There's an Acquiring Spiritual Knowledge Survey, but we don't need to worry about those. So I'm going to select this one right here. And so it says with belief and apply because I want my students to do that. Now you'll notice um, right here is if I want a preview of the assessment, see what it looks like, and take it myself, I can go ahead and click on that. And do I want to preview the main assessment, so the main 32 questions, or the, the belief and apply? I could choose either. I'm going to choose the main assessment. And this is very much similar to what it looks like on a mobile device. Go ahead and click Start. You'll need to make sure pop-ups are enabled on a device uh, in order for this to work. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to answer a few questions as we go through here. Um, and so the students will answer the question. Now if they get to one they're not sure, they can bookmark it. And you'll notice a little mark's been left down there. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead uh, to the last uh, few uh, essays here. So here I am on qu this question. Um, here is one. So I've typed in some words here. Um, the students need to write at least 20 words. Hopefully they're writing more than that. But once they have written 20 words, they're going to go ahead and click on Evaluate My Response. When they click on Evaluate My Response, it sets it in stone. They can't change their answer at all. So you need to tell them ahead of time. So Evaluate My Response. And so what they're supposed to do is read through this explanation here and to compare what they wrote. So right down here it says mark either yes or no based on the main idea you have explained in your response is in line with the response guide. So did what I write up here match with what it says here? And so uh, the students will say yes or no and then they'll go on to the next question. And there's four essay questions to end. So I've gone through and I've marked all of the questions. I want to show you what it looks like when you submit and then when once you submit, it's going to give you a report that looks like what the students will see. Now, it's not your report. It's just a copy of what a report looks like. So I'm going to hit Submit here. And it won't let you submit until all the questions have been answered. And so it runs this little report. And now it's asking me to do the belief and apply. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Submit here. I'm not going to take the time. And what you'll see next is the report. And so it tells you the program, how many got, they got right and wrong. You'll see these are actually questions from a New Testament. And so you'll see what the students put in here and uh, whether they left it unanswered, which you can't do this year as far as I know, uh, or incorrect. And so it'll look something like this. So this is a great report that you can pull up. And you as a teacher, once the assessment is taken, um, 
you'll come back here and you'll be able to look at the attempts. You'll be able to you'll see the score and then you'll click on that test attempt and you'll be able to see that report for the student. And so that's how you preview the assessment. Now uh, over here we have enable the online assessments. That's how you turn it on. So uh, for online seminary students, all the students will know their LDS accounts because they use them every day. Um, this is a face-to-face -face class we're looking at right here. And you can choose between those who have LDS accounts and those that don't. So in this class per se, all the students have an LDS account. Uh, you make sure all the boxes are checked. And then you're going to hit uh, enable online assessment. And it says here's the link you give to your students. So now if you're an online seminary teacher, that link is the same link that students see right here. So you don't need to give that to them per se, they just need to click on that. But you needed to follow the instructions here to enable that. And that's how you do that. Again, you check their names and hit enable. Now, if the students need to retake a test, they don't pass it, you would come back here to the same screen and hit, uh, you check their name and enable it. Okay. Um, you can print an answer packet. That's all the answers you could print there. You could print the assessment um, for those that don't have an LDS account. And then you could also print bubble sheets uh, from this. And you could print it for an individual student. So let's say one student didn't have an LDS account for a face-to-face -face class, and you could print it for them here. So that's how uh, the assessment uh, site works. So if you're like me, I'm going to do the online assessment in a face-to-face -face class. So here are a few tips that have helped me. First, have the students log in to my seminary hopefully on the device that they'll use for the assessment, several times before they need to take the assessment. I have my students log in and mark their reading. So I don't have to mark that later in the grade book. So I have them keep track of their reading in my seminary, and that gets them used to logging in with their LDS account. Now, if you have students, uh, you might need to take 30 minutes to help everybody get their user usernames and passwords set. So WISE can tell you their username if they've forgotten it, and it also can tell you the MRN so that they can reset their password. So if you log into WISE, and notice I'm right here on the Students tab, you click on that, you go to that person, and right here you click on that arrow and it will tell you their LDS account username. And if you click on Student Info, and they're a member, it will tell you their MRN. Now, uh, the MRN will help them reset their password. They need to know their birth date and their MRN. You can give them the MRN. They should know their birth date, and they can reset that fairly quickly on their own device. Uh, don't give them the link to the assessment until it's time to take the test. So write it on the board when it's time to do that. Uh, I have mine in a PowerPoint that I show when everybody has logged in to an LDS. Uh, you know, make sure that we can do that, then I show them the link. Um, if you're worried about internet uh, connections where you're taking it, uh, slow speed, um, what I've done is I've had small groups of students submit. I have them just wait, and then once they're ready, I have like row by row them submit. Now, uh, one other thing is if you'll have students log in, say they don't exist or they don't have an account, um, it might be a browser issue. So you need to go back uh, just have them choose a different browser. So Chrome, Firefox, um, or Safari. Um, have them try a different browser. Now, uh, some tips for an online seminary class. Um, in your resources that are given, there's that PowerPoint uh, that goes through the complete study guide. So uh, the week before you take the test in your weekly class, go through that PowerPoint. Talk about those things. There also might be some login issues for your students. If they're logged in with their LDS account on the Canvas site, it might not open up the learning assessment site. And so in that case, have them copy the link from Canvas and try it in a different browser. Um, give them a full 24 hours to do the assessment and then call, pick up the phone and call the ones that didn't pass and schedule a time like when they'd like to retake it. Make sure they have a copy of their report so that they can go back and study those questions that they missed. Since I first made this video, there's been some updates to the site and I wanted to make you aware of those, some additional resources that you can use. So I just showed you where you can find the, the assessments here. Now, uh, in this video, it's Doctrine and Covenants year now, and you can see here is the first half assessment. There's other tests to be, uh, assessments to be given here. I'm not exactly familiar. It looks like a Doctor Master Review using the, the software that the test is given in. And there's the second one right there. 
And then right down here, there's a pre-assessment. So at the beginning of a semester, you could choose to give the assessment to your students. It might be helpful for them to do it once on a device ahead of time to practice, to get them to log in. And there's also some weekly reviews that you can choose to enable. And so I'm going to go to this one here. And if I want to enable this weekly review from lessons one through five, I can go ahead and I'll click on enable assessment. And I can send that link to parents and they can get online and do that review with their, their students. Or you can uh, give them that same link, la.leschurch.org, and they can do that at, right at the beginning of class. So this assessment site isn't just for the assessment. Um, there are some great resources to be able to review, and there's reviews th through every week of lessons that can be given. And so that's one additional thing that uh, I wanted to point out. So one other new development that you can do with the learning assessment site now is you can look at the students' responses. Again, in the video I showed you how they self-evaluate. And use a teacher want to get it bearing on to how well they did or they did not do. So I'm going to go ahead. Earlier I clicked on this box to be able to give the assessment. In this case, once you've given it, click on the name of the class there. And then it will bring you to uh, your students here. And once you're on this page, um, my students are listed. I can see their scores. I can see the questions that they missed. And if I wanted to read an individual student's essay responses, I can click on the test attempt there. And then I can click on view report. And what we'll see on this report is how well uh, this particular student did. And so you can see the questions and some learning hints, and then down here at the bottom are those essays that they responded to. And so this is the question, the model answer, and the student response, and you can see how they mark themselves. And so this gives you a pretty good idea as a teacher as to what they really put on their responses, even though you can't read it, if they type it under their phone live, you can come back and review those.